Welcome back to Acadia Center. This is Mac the Mouth here in beautiful Calgary, Alberta. Another sunny day here, but an incredibly hot, hard-hitting day here inside the building. We're at the Nerd Track number one, the men's World Cup of Roller Derby, and I'm here with... Broad Crasher. Nice to see you again. Nice to be seen. Uh, right. As always. <laughs> As always, of course. So, lots of entertainment today, lots of games. A lot of games that have been, like, really tight. Like, on the yeah. other track, you were saying you caught so, the end. So, now we're getting into the last games of all the pool play. And these are positions that change into brackets for the true eliminations that get us to our World Cup finalists right. and semifinals. So, yeah. so, one of the best games I've seen yet this weekend, France and Australia. We're just playing over on track two. That's the Sisu track next door to us. Uh, that game went right down the last jam. Uh, Australia pulling out the win 79-70. to 70, And it was such a physical hard-hitting, unbelievable game. Wow. It was fantastic. The crowd went in. The, the electricity, people are walking past me, pointing at their arms because they've got goosebumps, <laughs> right? It was, it was incredible. That's awesome. The last game on this track, on the nerd track, was Germany versus Wales. And of course, Wales took it by a little bit of a landslide. A little about bit of a landslide. 50-bit, yeah. somewhere around I mean, there. I think Wales won as expected, but I think it was a much harder played game than they expected, too. But at the beginning, Germany was killing it. They yeah. were getting the points that they needed, and I feel like they've had the experience now. They are, they've played their games all day yesterday and today, and they brought it. Yeah, and the nice thing here is, regardless of where you finish in your pool, you are playing again, because yes. there's, now there's going to be 20 teams. They're going to get seeded from 1 to 20. And today on the track, for you fans, I hope you're watching in Spain right now. Good evening, you Spaniards, you. Hola. Buenas noches. <laughs> Buenas noches. Hola. That's so right, we right? apologize in advance for butchering the French language. It's our fault. We're Canadian. It's Spanish. But we did apologize, there. which yeah. is very Canadian anyway. Absolutely. So we got Spain in black uh, playing Canada, wearing red today. Team Canada 3-0 and in this tournament. And I think, as expected, uh, some of these higher-ranked higher, higher ranked teams are expected to run their pool. Canada wins this, to, this game today. We'll finish first in their pool. Uh, Spain... 0-3, but they've uh, actually had progressively better games the entire uh, day and a half here. Yeah. And this is their fourth and final game. And uh, is this Canada's fourth and final game? I'll check that, but I believe it might be. Well, on the jam line brought to you by, what is it, Nerd Skates? You bet. Yes, Nerd Skate jam line. It is Per Bellare going up against Fluster Cluck. And is it the last game for them? It is the last game for both teams. Yeah. This will finish out their pool play. Perfect. Alright, let's see some derby action. The crowd is getting ready. It's getting a little bit more packed in here with all the Canada fans. Huge support over there. What's going on? Uh, is that Canada? I don't uh, know. No, that is the Fluster Clock fan club. Oh. He coaches one of the local teams here, your that jammer in red. <laughs> and he's got his team out here wearing shirts with this <laughs> image on them. I don't think he's seen it yet. No, not yet. You will on turn four. They're in the bleachers over there. Fluster Cluck going up against the Spaniard, I do believe, and he is trying his best to get by. He does it on turn two. Yeah, Fluster Cluck picking up lead for Canada. The pivot for uh, Spain heading to the box for a low block. A cut called also on a Spaniard player, so Canada taking advantage, taking pack advantage here. And another cut, oh, a jammer cut actually we've got. Three quick penalties in succession has suddenly put uh, Spain in a tough situation. It's a power jam, which is a roller derby athletic power jam. Brought to you by Roller Derby Athletic. And Fluster Cluck has made it through that pack, no problems. He is trying to come around. The rest of the team is making sure that there's a window open for him, as you can see on your screen. Fluster Cluck approaches, coming up. And almost through, but he's stuck behind number eight, which is a fantastic blocker. He's been doing a fantastic job. He calls it down. Calls it off from his knees on turn four. It's on the inside. He could not get through that tight pack, which is yeah. a great job to Spain. Uh, and, one of, and one of the things here is that Canada will and needs to put on as many points as they possibly can because point differential matters. If you win your pool, bracketing matters by point differential. So I can tell you that Canada and England and Australia may not want to be on the same side of the bracket as the USA. They're a strong contender to get to the final. If they're on my bracket, I have to get through them to get to the final. So there's math going on behind the scenes here that's important for both teams. Ugh, so this is roller derby, not school. Math. <laughs> Brad Ass is donning the star for Canada, and he has made it through as lead jammer. Senior Calavari is stuck in there. Sorry, Calavara is stuck in there. Brad Ass making it through yet again. 
But oh. a jammer penalty picked up by Brad, or sorry, a jammer penalty for Canada. Brad asked going to the box for a cut. He's just sitting down now. That 30 second power jam. It is a roller derby athletics power jam for Spain, which is something that they could use right now, get themselves on the track or on the board. Yeah, Senior Calavera, I've, I've watched, uh, I got to call a game with Spain earlier. It, it amazes me his stamina and strength. And this is Spain playing with a three, six, nine person roster. This many games in a day and a half, it, it takes its toll. They These are very, very exhausted. fit skaters. Yeah. yeah. Coming up against our lovely red blockers, doing a fantastic job. Number 50 is holding his position like no tomorrow. And that's Buddy Ollie. And a cut penalty drawn on Senior as he heads to the box. Power jam, Brad ass back on the track, quickly through as Spain wasn't quite set for that pass. Pack is here right in front of us in our location in turn four as Brad S flies by, oh, dances down the inside nice. line, picks up another power jam, puts five on the board for Canada. Still no points left on the board for Spain, unfortunately, but their blockers are trying their best to hold him back. Is that number 30, the Spaniard is doing a fantastic job trying to edge him out on the outside of corner one. And we have a cut track penalty going to number 22 from Spain. He's going to have a minute oh, to think about what he did. Brad Ass is going back to the penalty box. I'm not seeing an indication from our jammer ref on what the call is, so I can't give that information to you. It was in the opposite corner from us. But now we're back again with a power jam, and Senor has done a uh, stash with the star, unable to get out of the pack. Jam is over, but I believe we put points on the board for Spain. Yes, Spain Ooh, has four nice. points on the board. And 13 points for Canada. 25 to 4 for Canada. Three minutes into this 30-minute game. A little help from uh, <laughs> from our friends at Instant Replay, showing us exactly what happened. Bradass went through with five points. I did not see any penalties on that one. Oh, that Sorry. was just that was an earlier pass when he just oh, ran down that line. It was a great replay. Thanks, team. We'll keep. I will pay more attention to the replay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like number 44 in black is doing a fantastic job. That's Kibo. He's trying to jump his way through that pack. It is a power start for Spain. Brought to you by Roller Derby Athletics, of course. Roller Derby Athletics getting a lot of power gems in this game. <laughs> so soon. Radass is back on the track there. Oh, wheel. Oh, we have a wheel this be interesting. on the track. This makes skating more difficult for when some of the skaters. When you only have three wheels, yeah. Yeah, when you have seven, but... Oh, a cut okay. penalty on the Spanish jammer. I also see a panty on the track, uh, which QBO. is kind of interesting. That means that Brad has lost his star. He's gotten it back from the snow. He's, he's actually done a pass. It's still on the pass. track. You can see it on turn oh, two that, there. That would be Spain's star, I believe. No? It's the pivot. Pivot stripe for Spain because the star is in the hand of the pivot for Canada. That's Double zero, that's Bennett. Bennett. Great work by Walker at the back of the pack here, holding off the Spanish players completely on his own. Big legal contact here right in front of us. And both sides, the green sides of the bodies, as I like to call them, made good hard <laughs> contact in zone four, corner four. Bennett's doing his best to get again uh, around number eight in black, Shanann. Shigami, I believe. Uh, I'm probably saying that totally wrong. But anyways, he has been a great blocker so far uh, today and yesterday. Every time someone comes up to him, he does give them a fight. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. That's, that's a good, good. That's a good thing. He's a good blocker. <laughs> yeah, a very good blocker. We Both have, teams picking up some penalties here. A counter yes. block. Five more points going to Bennett on the board for Canada. Attempted jump to make it through before the final whistle. I don't think he got any extra points there. No more points for uh, Spain as well. Nice replay here at the end. Just the jammer work at the front of the pack to get through. See? On one skate, dances through the outside, we're on one more blocker and out the front for points. The nice scoring trying pass. trying to hold him back and he didn't do it too well. There we go. Right, back to the action number 403 in red is rice ball going up against number 56 per Bellotti. great hit out at the back of the pack as rice ball takes lead for canada canada blockers managed to cycle that jammer to the back 
Rice Ball's trying to pick up some points on his inside line. Nice little dance along the way, and he picks up some five points. I have seen, I've not seen as much hopping and skipping through passes as I've seen in the last day and a half with some of the moves that these jammers have to get through the smallest space. I've always enjoyed watching Rice Ball because he can get down so low. I've seen him play for the Reservoir Dogs. He's done a fantastic job. And Rice Ball picks up another five. That's 10 points for Canada. As they continue to hold the Spanish jammer at the back of the pack. Rice Ball, an easy pass that time through. Spanish jammer has taken off his panty to see if he can trick his way through. A and uh, try to get it to his pivot, I do believe, but Canada's wall is blocking him at all. Oh, it was an attempted handoff. I liked it. Senior Calavera zipped by on the outside and just didn't get the panty pass because he had a wide open track to take off as pivot. It was a great idea for a play. Meanwhile, Span Spanish is doing a great job on rice ball at the back. Hugo Stiglitz is holding him back at the rear there. Making life yeah. tough for that yeah. Spanish jammer out there right now. Hugo Stiglitz is uh, holding his position. He's using his friends as a lever, really. Well, Canada's game has been a hard walls, tough blocking, great, great agility there, just shown by Zimmer, who drew a cut penalty on a knockout on a jammer and, and got another power jam for Canada with only three seconds left. They're going to start the next jam with that advantage on the track. Rice ball jumping over, picking up his four points as he goes. Oh, sorry, five points. Uh, again, power jam, roller derby athletics. Yeah, the Men's Roller Derby World Cup would like to acknowledge the contributors of Alberta Sports Connection would help to make this event possible. Also, S1. The S1 Life Helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a lifer, be a lifer. S1Helmets.com. Awesome. I'm also really excited about tomorrow where you can choose your MVP. Just check out our Facebook tomorrow and vote for who you think should be a part of the Quad Skate Shop MVP team. Red 5 is jamming for Canada. He has made it through on turn two. And not only is he wearing red, his name is Red. His name is Red. He has the reddest hair in the world, so he, he definitely deserves in the, the name. World. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. It is a global event. It I'm is. Sure they lined everyone up and checked their hair. Let's find some Irish people. <laughs> Fair enough. They would have something to say about that. <laughs> Red 5 coming up again, sneaking by his own team players. Great lateral movement. He drew everyone out to lane four, and then dropped to the inside lane. Found a clear path to get through for five points for Canada as they continue to hold the Spanish jammers, giving them a hard, hard time at the back of that pack. And it looks like every single Spanish person has made it back onto the track from the penalty box. I feel like there was only two blockers on before, and now they're back in. Walker has been sent to the penalty box for elbows. Well, so, you know. A couple of multiple uh, skater pileups for a while there. Everyone got back on their feet. Ooh, nice. Bit of a fight for Red, but he gets out and picks up another five. But now, Spain's jammer is out. Red looks at the bench. Coach Lime signals to call it off. They call off the jam. Fair Bellare was the jammer for them. Kubo is going up against Fluster Cluck next. Nice replay here with Red, zigging and zagging his way through for this pass. Turns his back to the outside. This is where you're gonna see him run to the inside and take off. He opened up all that track, pushed those blockers out to lane four. Beautiful sweep, yeah. Took a, and he did it himself. He actually drew them out there by hitting for that lane and then ran back what I like to call running downhill inside. Ooh. That's the jammer's favorite line because that's the shortest way around that corner and through the track. We have an official timeout. Official timeout. Well, you know what? You're watching this in Spain, somewhere else in the world, and it's too far to get to Calgary. Why not host the 2018 Men's World Derby World Cup? <laughs> Men's Roller Derby World Cup. I'll That's say it twice. It's a little difficult to say. Det details are in your programs and on our website. Of course. Of course they are. Oh. What else can we talk about? Well, we can talk else? about Be Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger with one-on-one -on -one coaching from Derbalife and Chaos Theory. New Derbalife Transformation Challenge starting on August 8th. Visit chaostheoryblog.com for more details. That's chaos, K-H-A-O-S, theoryblog.com. August 8th, that's not too far away either, so. No, hurry up. You've got some time. Get to that website now. You can do it, you can do it for sure. 
Uh, let's also thank Bruce Skate News. Bruce Skate News, the original over the shoulder roller skate holder. You spend a lot of money on those skates, don't shove them in a bag full of sweaty gear. Your skates hate that. So keep those skates aired out and show them off with Bruce Skate News. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or online at bruisedn.com. But just keeping an eye on what's happening at the benches here as the referees are talking. They're reviewing some, looks like there's a penalty that's been assessed. Unless it's a number, unless it was a foul out. We didn't have that information here. That's why we're taking a bit longer break, just to get things corrected. The NSOs, yeah, I think, I think the NSOs have counted, because we had so many penalties happen so fast in what, five jams, <sighs> particularly with Spain, that we possibly could have a skater in a foul up position. And, of course, these are shorter games, so we don't have the full seven penalties. But even really five have to be careful. is a lot. Yeah, because if this is a full game, we'd never give ten. So you really got to work hard to get five. Yeah. But it is, I believe there is a fifth. Let's see, we've got four skaters on the Spanish bench, one in the box, that's five. That's Senior Malavera, you can see on your screen. And then we're back on the track view. Okay. Yeah, let's get back to some action, shall we? Fluster Cluck and Cubo doing a little dance at the front. Fluster taking it right at the jam line from Nerd Skate. Cubo trying to sneak his way through and gets a penalty. It is another Roller Derby Athletics power jam for Canada. What a great pass by uh, Fluster Cluck on that starting whistle. It was like two steps around, or just was, rocked his hips around and ran down that inside line, gone. He saw it and he took it, just like that. Fluster Cluck is through yet again. Well, in Canada, powerful team, four blockers on the track. They're going to play some offense. Are they going to hold a skater and yeah. try to create that pack separation? Now they're coming in for offense, just going to squeeze that room on the outside. Got a little assisted push on his way through from Walker. And Fluster Cluck is through again for 15 points. And another blocker for Spain has been sent to the penalty box. So there's only two blockers out there trying to hold back Cluster Cluck, going up against four Canadian blockers. Canada oh. got caught, got caught watching. And that Spanish jammer got through way too quick and way too easy. His initial pass has been done. Fluster Cluck called it off just in time. Only just. Zero points for Spain. Four going to Canada. 24 point jam there for Canada. Fluster Cluck, great skate. We're going to see a replay here. What? Hopefully it's at start. <laughs> no. Fluster Cluck just swinging through the middle, untouched. Actually, we're going to see the Spanish jammer get through untouched because their whole pack raced forward. They great really replay, you guys. It at well, the last they raced up to reform the pack. They thought they'd go play some offense, and everyone was not shoulder checking on the position of that Spanish jammer. And it just, just takes one it. beat, and he ran down. Kudos to that jammer for taking that space and running. Great replay. That was fantastic. We got a timeout. Let's have a commercial break, shall we? Welcome back here to Cadia Center. Just uh, in the midst of a timeout. Was this a timeout? It was. Who took that timeout? I believe Spain did. Yes, they did. Spain <laughs> took the timeout. Thank you to our producer over here who's doing a fantastic Snug. job. Snug. <laughs> Snug. Again. <laughs> the Snugmeister. Uh, so, yeah, Spain has called a timeout, and that timeout has been brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Don't forget, choose your MVP of the day for tomorrow during gameplay. And in these 30 minute games, each team is allowed a timeout, but they cannot take a timeout in the last two minutes because the timeout are time running. They're one minute timeouts, but the game clock keeps running. So yeah. strategically, you may want to use it to burn some time here for Spain. Strategically, at the halfway point of the game, let's stop, let's get reset, everybody take a breath, let's start over is what they need. They need to keep their blockers on the track for the second, the last 13 minutes of this game. I do also believe that yesterday, Lime called a timeout um, to, to hold on to their points, basically. Yep. So Absolutely. that's also a great use of the timeout. Um, Bradass is coming up and trying to fake out our jammer in black, who is Pere. 
uh, he did a fantastic job of knocking him well, on his butt. So. <laughs> Kennedy tried to take him on and slow him down, and Brad has moved him about did 10 feet up the track. Happen. Pede has been knocked to the inside. He is coming around back behind Tank. Looking for his opening. Bradass still stuck at turn two. Four blockers doing a fantastic job. One being called off for a high block. Bradass out of the pack for a five point pass. And again, you can see the strength of the Spanish blockers when they were able to keep that three, that tripod together. Mm -hmm. They can really hold up a skater as skilled as Bradass. But there's a nice little bump. Not a big hit, it's a subtle push, opens up a lane. Free, free run there for a free pass for Brad has to pick up five more for Canada. Brad has is approaching, gets a little knock to the inside, but it doesn't really stop him that much. He sneaks by on the inside again. Hugo Stiglitz knocked down and it's an attempt to stop him, not so much though. Perez still at the back of the pack. Now he's pushing that red wall forward a bit as they come out of turn four near our location. A little bit of a pile up there. Bradass being sent to the back of the pack, recycled. That's a misconduct, I believe, being called on the Canadian jammer, Bradass. That means it is and a roller derby. And that is Bradass's derby. third penalty. Oh, roller derby athletic power jam for Spain. Pere is trying to get as many points. And these blockers are doing a fantastic job. Tank is holding the line with Dev Null at the back. Yeah. Um, um, Perez still, him still, still second. waiting for an initial pass, or Per, sorry, pardon me for pronouncing his name wrong. Per Barreri, Barreri, I'll roll my R, it'll sound more like I'm, I'm not what I'm very saying. good at rolling my R's. Per Barreri, uh, I know I'm saying it wrong, my apologies everybody. Cubo is much this. easier to say, so he is taking the line There's Bradass fighting his way through, drew actually a high block penalty on that pass, getting chased down, but now that blocker's out of play, Brad just takes the skate and takes the points. That was Shinigami. Again. Shinigami, like I said, has been doing a fantastic job of holding his position on the track, like no tomorrow. And Seven. Cubo has tried to make it through, get knocked out. 71 the Rev playing uh, really strong in the back of that pack with that, there's a couple of big beards on the track. One of them is Svensson and one of them is Rev. They're not, they're easy to spot. As Spain fills the penalty box with two more blockers, making it really difficult in the back of that pack for your jammer number 44, Cubio. Cubo. Oh, sorry, Cubo. Cubo. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, he is stuck at the back behind some epic beards right now. Bradass, however, has made his way through. It's interesting though, Bradass has probably been out there more as a jammer for Canada because of his three penalties, where a lot of times you want to roll your jammers, get them in the game and get a rotation going. We got a cut penalty on the Spanish jammer. Looks like a forearm, pardon me. We got a forearm penalty on the Spanish jammer. Another roller derby athletic power jam for Team Canada. Bradass is just slipping through like, like there's nothing stopping him. His teammates are doing a fantastic oh. job of holding their position. That was a lap. And controlling. That was literally just a lap. Yeah. With the speed that he's coming in with. Canada doing a good job of opening up space, and they're going at it again by playing some offense, yep. rushing the Spanish wall down the track, and they got him in the straightaway. Svensson trying to cap one of those blockers. Now they're just splitting them up. Bradass dances through the inside, oh, steps out, calls does it off. Not make it. He picked up 25 on that jam. Did he get some additional points? I think he did. That was a 29-point jam. Ooh. So the upside of three penalties is the amount of points that Brad has. Is, <laughs> I'm sorry about the penalties. Here's a lot get, of points. Yeah. Here's most of the points, because I think he's scored most of the points for the team right now. He has been played quite often. Here's Brad so here coming through the pack right now. Ducks really low. It's it's funny, the amount of jammers I've worked with when we talk about being low, that's being low. When that you drop you that do. low, you really freeze a blocker because they, they can't come at you with that lower leg. They might draw a low block. Bryce Ball, his father, actually, Brad Ass's father, is going to take the star for Canada. He sneaks around on the outside, gets edged out slightly, but not quite. Trying to get by the Spaniard, finally doing so, and picking up lead jam status at the end of turn two. Bryce Ball, a.k.a. Brad's dad, yes. has lead for Canada. <laughs> if that wasn't known already. Mr. Brad Ass. Bryce Ball picking up another few points on the inside line. A really smooth, consummate skater, though. Gets in a really low position, keeps himself low, and then builds up speed when he gets into that pack. Spain doing a good, good job. They force him out and drawing him back to the back of the pack. 
It definitely Meanwhile, helps when everyone is on the track and not in the penalty box. Right, look, we look at the success they're having now because they got a star pass. They got that star out of the pack. Star stash, pardon me, the pivot, I can still see that strike. It was a good ditch and go by the, uh, by the jammer for Spain. <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job, Snugan. Thank you. Here's Rice Ball making his way through the front of this pack, just driving himself through, runs out to the outside, gets on his toe stops, he's gonna get that little step and go. And he's stretching those blockers to a point where they start to disengage because they know they're getting to 20 feet. Senior Malavera, another great beard on the track today. Red five. Sitting on four, so oh, he has okay. to be careful as a jammer. That's a high risk play on Spain's part. Yeah. If he picks up a penalty, it's a two minute power jam for Canada. Red 5 is almost through. He's trying to edge out that one last player, and he does. Great pass. Senior Melavera needs to keep a nice, clean skate, get out of that pack. Working hard at the front here. Zimmer is doing a fantastic job of holding him with the rev, I do believe. Red 5 has made it through. Senior finally makes it through. He's a little bit said that he could not pick up a couple points as he goes. He or, can see the defeat. Yeah, or happy he made it through and didn't or get a penalty. happy. That could also be it too. He's good on Spain. <laughs> Red here turns his hips, gets backwards, and you freeze a blocker. So when you're both skating forwards, you flip in front and turn your hip and yeah. face them. They've run out of things to do at that point. And if you skate backwards well, like Red just showed, you're, you're, you're on and gone. Yeah. Lead is yours and you're on your way. Per Velarde back on the track for Spain. Going up against Flusterclock. Flusterclock, of course, takes it on the outside. I saw uh, something come off of a piece of equipment and totally hit Lime. Lime looks like oh. super offended that he got hit by well, he's something. Not that, but he's not injured, so that's <laughs> He's okay. not injured, but he's like, what just happened? Flusterclock has made it through the pack yet again. Five more points to Canada. Penalty called. That was on a stash as well. So the jammer on a sorry a pass. Oh, the pivot Spaniard. come jammer. Jammer is now sitting in the box. Another power jam for Team Canada. Brought to you by Roller Derby Athletics, of course. Uh, and that is also the fourth penalty for number 30, which is the Spaniard. Number eight, who has been a fantastic Shinigami, uh, has been a fantastic blocker, is being sent to the penalty box as well. Another scoring pass for Fluster Cluck. And to your point about being a good blocker, that's his first penalty. When Spain's had a lot of penalties and you don't yeah. get one until there's five minutes left, you're playing a really solid, clean game, staying out of trouble. Fluster has made it through yet again. Whistles being blown as the Spaniard re-enters the pack and zero points were scored for We're gonna run that jam out. I won't be surprised if Lime's not talking. Oh, we got a little replay here. The cluster clock just shouldering his way through, get on his toe stops, keeping his balance. He's bound, he's pinballing his way through there yeah. and manages just to stay on his edges and, and his the toe Spaniard stops. was not letting him go at all, so that was a fantastic job. We got an official timeout. Uh, I won't be surprised that it wasn't Lime asking the head ref about the piece of equipment being thrown in the direction of the Canada bench. I believe it was completely unintentional. Absolutely. I think it was like a, one of those plastic covers from a knee pad that came out on the I track. I feel like it was an elbow pad because it was way smaller than a knee pad. I've seen a lot of them go it's, flying this weekend already. Spanish skater picked it up, tossed it, just it started, kept playing. Just to get and it then off you the saw track, it, uh, yeah. You saw the film where it hit uh, Lime, and <laughs> you'll be at the uh, the hearing later. I guess so. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there won't be any penalties assessed for that. They just had a quick talk about it. If that was it, we're just conjecture. We don't know, so we'll move on. Senior Calavera out again, sitting on four. Sitting on Bradass, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that pack just reformed out of nowhere. It seems like Senior Calavera was not expecting that. He was hoping that it would be an easy window to sneak through. Oh, look at that. He finally sneaks through on the inside line of turn one. Picking up lead and he has lead. status as well. I believe well. it could be Spain's, one of Spain's first or only leads of this game so far. And it's Senior Malavera giving oh. it all. He did not call it at the right time, unfortunately. Brad Ass still picks up four points. Brad Ass, huge smile on his face as he exits the pack. 
and the whistles are blowing, and he's like, yep, uh-huh, I just did that. <laughs> Senior Calavera, uh, becoming a fan favorite here. I think it's just the big gray beard, but... Uh, he is, yeah, definitely. I feel like he got a little distracted by his teammates. He wasn't 100% sure if he should call it off, and you can see here he uh, kind of loses his balance and turns around for a second. By the time That's, he looked, they already grabbed the four points. Yeah, Bradas yeah. was already... Through. Two and a half minutes remaining, 175 for Canada, four for Spain as we finish up both these teams' last and final games. Look at Rice Ball trying to fight his way through that pack and it was to not working out for him. He's getting Rice Ball getting called for a forearm on that pass right. though, which is a power jam, a roller derby athletic power jam for, for Spain. Spain. Fantastic. Ole. Ole. <laughs> and he sneaks through, picking up lead jam status as he goes. I believe if he scores points here, this will be the first time where Spain has, with lead, scored points. Yes. And he has. Be. He's already gotten through. He's passed the boys backwards on the track. Oh, he's he still... did it. Did he did it? Did he do it? He certainly did. Penalty's being drawn by Canada. He's holding him back. Yeah, that's Johnson. A very tall Johnson. Very, very At tall. At the back Johnson. of the pack has drawn him all the way back. Buddy Ali forcing him back to the very far back. Trying to edge him out, Spain's, facing him. Spain's captain, the Spaniard, turns backwards, see the Canadian jammer coming, calls off the jam. That is a 4-0 jam for Spain, a 5-0 jam for oh, Spain, because they got the penalty point. There we go, the crowd goes crazy as we get a couple but, more points for Spain. And, and they should be, the Spanish ben bench is celebrating. There's the pass that picked up all four points because he, he, he passed all their hips already. Regardless of what happens at this point, he's already collected those four points. Yeah. The Spaniard, the captain of this team. We have another foul out as well. The Spaniard. The Spaniard. Oh, unfortunate. He has a pretty awesome mustache, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have the mustache MVP awards later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the beard uh, finale as well. But oh. the Spaniard, unfortunately, having that amazing jam getting that 5-0, getting lead, getting five points for Spain, did pick up his fifth penalty, and is fouled out as we're into the last. Senior Calavera was almost playing like a blocker there for a second, trying to hold back red five. Ooh, Senior tries to make it, did not get it at the end. Uh, the rev took him out. And again on the inside line. As we count down the final 30 seconds of the game clock, there's still a minute and a half on the jam clock. So once you've established lead, which Canada does have currently, Canada controls the clock. Red 5 has been having a huge issue getting by these three amazing blockers for Spain. Finally getting past number 8 and number 12, Perez. They were doing a fantastic job. Of and a power up. jam, and that'll be the fifth and final. But you know what? Good job by... Senior Calavera to go through this Canadian group, <laughs> throws his hands in the air, he's got a big cheer from his bench, but well That's earned. That's all he has to say. Well, uh, Red 5 has made it through yet again. As we get under a minute now on the game clock, it's really up to Canadian bench to they've hold control. They basically got the hammer as they've got lead, pack advantage. What Spain can do is try and get the two blockers together, which I'm sure Canada doesn't want to allow them to do. Oh, another easy pass there. That's 15 one. points. The bells are ringing over here in Canada's cheering zone. He's made it through. That's 20 points. What I like to see is the Spanish team standing, cheering on their pack that's out there. There we go. Senior Calaver, Melavera would be up there back. cheering, but he's taking a breather. He's worked very hard today. Yeah. Team Canada getting every point they can, 10 seconds left. Hitting the 200 mark, Ooh. 200 Canada, nine Spain. These are big points that Canada wants to have. Shinigami has been an amazing blocker and he's fighting his way back to his own crew, his own pack. And seeing nothing but big love out at the there. End, of course, yeah, at the end of that. Just because he's been doing such a fantastic job of fighting yeah, for his own position. We and get a little replay action here where they're holding Senior Melavera at the Calavera at the back of the pack. And Red working on a really hard tripod until it finally starts to break down. He's able to turn his hips and, that's and race out of that pack Shinigami and pick up lead. Was sent to the penalty box and and that, that was the lead that sealed that the back end of that game for Canada.
Canada taking their pool. Uh, again, as the couple games that are left finish, the bracketing for tomorrow will start. We have our first elimination, elimination game this evening. And if you're in the if you're in the Calgary area, you need to be down here to see this. It's oh, outstanding yes. roller derby, incredibly entertaining. I was over watching Ireland and USA, and I had to stand beside Japan, Puerto Rico, Belgium, and France players to watch the game because it's everyone's uh, on the track cheering each other on. Oh, it's a, the an amazing event. The camaraderie that I've seen all day and all day yesterday has been amazing. Countries that I would never have met before have been like, "You're my best friend now." And I love it. That's what I love about roller derby, and that's why I'm continually staying. That's so a great staying. game down here at yes. the Nerd Track, Track 1. Track 2 is the Sisu Track. Make sure you come down here and check them out. Join us. What do we got up next? Coming up next on the Nerd Track is USA versus Finland. Ooh. All right. right, this is Mac the Mouth, and... And my name is Broadcrasher. Thank you so much. Just saying, see you later. Take off, eh? Bye. Bye-bye. Just go to any game and you're like, oh, yeah, this is why I do this. I skate for the Linden Roller Girls and S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. This is the 2016 USA Men's Roller Derby World Cup team. Corey Ackless, blocker, Everett Washington. Nicholas Becker, blocker, Appleton, Wisconsin. TJ Binkley, blocker, Dallas, Texas. Dylan Botts, blocker, Seattle, Washington. Percy Control, blocker, St. Louis, Missouri. Kyle Divers, blocker, Denton, Texas. Seahorses Forever, blocker, Des Moines, Iowa. Godzilla OK. Blocker, Seattle, Washington. Magnum, Jammer, St. Louis, Missouri. Brian McAfee, Blocker, St. Louis, Missouri. Tony Muse, Blocker, West Des Moines, Iowa. Brian O'Neill, Jammer, Dallas, Texas. Jonathan R, Jammer, New York City. Lolo Mike, Jammer, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Kembo Slice, Jammer, Brooklyn, New York. Brennan Smith.
Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official skate shop, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu. And I fend for you.
We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalize roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. A soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. The hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The multiple impact test is when we drop a helmet to achieve a velocity of 4.57 meters per second. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The same helmet is tested three times in the same location. The helmet must reduce the energy pulse to under 300 Gs each time. Anything over 300 Gs can result in a traumatic brain injury or a severe concussion. In summary, the soft foam helmet with EVA foam and the hockey helmet helmet with triple density foam did not pass the multiple impact test. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam did pass the multiple impact test.